importing an OVA file into VirtualBox can be done using the import tool built into the VirtualBox manager. So we're going to go to File and Import Appliance. You may notice that Import Appliance has a shortcut control I. If you click on the link, it's going to open up the dialog. If we close that and use the control I shortcut, it'll bring up the same dialog. So that's a quicker way to bring up the import dialog. You're going to pick the file. So you click on the folder icon and then go to where you downloaded the OVA file. And then select the OVA file. You should see the path to the OVA file in the file dialog and then click next. You can generally accept the defaults on the next screen. And if you only include the NAT network adapter, then you shouldn't have collisions on the MAC addresses. The option to import the hard drive as a VDI is a good option to leave checked if you're going to use the virtual machine on VirtualBox because that is the native disk format for VirtualBox. So we click finish and the import process is going to begin. There will be a importing appliance dialog on the right hand side and that will show progress. Depending on the computer speed this can take quite a while. It's mainly based on how fast VirtualBox can read the OVA files from the disk. These OVA files can easily be 15 gigabytes so this may take a long time. Once the OVA import is finished you'll see the virtual machine listed in the left hand side on the menu. At that point you can go ahead and start the virtual machine.